Hello, I would like to introduce the auto provision feature for Jagino Gateway. The auto provision feature, uh, also called auto update feature, is used to um, batch deployment for the gateways. This feature is ready since since uh, this firmware version which built in December, December 31. Here the, is, is the case for uh, the application for when you need this feature. For example, if you order several hundred thousands gateways from Jogino and you want to batch config the gateways before deployed, then you can use this feature. The gateway will auto connect to the HTTP server with com uh, and download the config files from HTTP server and config the gateway itself. Second case is that you have many gateways in your customer side and you want to you want to maintain the gateway config from cloud from your maintain server. In this case, uh, for example, you want to change the network server, you want to change the uh, frequency band and some and some other settings. You can use the gateway. You can use this feature to uh, manage it, manage the config from your cloud. How this feature works? This feature, uh, the gateway will search, <coughs> search the URL from from your local area level or internet every day, every day, every day, uh, 11, 11 p.m. The gateway will search uh, the provision URL to get the configure files or script files, and then gateways will compare the version number on your provision server and check if your provision server have a update version and the gateway will process the update. You just need to configure two things, the provision server and the configure version. The configure version by default is zero. Now we now I will explain the settings in detail. First, uh, assume that our gateway, uh, your gateway has the Wi-Fi mark, this mark, this mark, and the provision server. By default, in the in the firmware, there is a default provision server set to ETH one hash net. In this case, in this case, the gateway will search the dot. 254 IP in the WAN port as provision server. For example, if your gateway has the IP in WAN port is uh, is 129 uh, 192.168.1.89, then the provision server will be the same network with the 254 uh, IP address. So the gateway will try to download the files from this IP address. And the file name will be the Wi-Fi MAC address. Here, is this is the file name. And user can set the can set this provision server to cloud server such as HTTP such as uh, provisionjagino.com, and gateway will search this URL with this file name. The configure version, which shows, which shows what configure what configure version the gateway has in the device, and here the request update is this can use be uh, to test or uh, for uh, for uh, immediate update when when user click this button, the gateway will do the auto provisioning. This is do manually. Uh, except that uh, you request update the gateway, the gateway will search the URL on the boot uh, when it's booting, 
when you power on the gateway or every or every day uh, 11 p.m. Here is the source the provision file structure. You can find the example files in here, which is a provision file. The provision file will include uh, must be in JSON format and is include two necessary fields. The first field is provision key. This key must match the the thirty two keys in the device. You can use this command has them in your uh, gateway to check what key you have or if you order the gateway in large volume you can ask Jugino to provide the keys to you and here also the configure version device will only update when the your server have a higher version than the device have this word this configure version must be integral don't without the code the the provision key is used to check to do a uh, to do a sensitive check to check if this file uh, is a valid file like a security check. If the provision key doesn't match what the provision key have in the gateway, the gateway will ignore this file and don't do any update. The provision file also includes some general settings like this. They are optional settings. Uh, the first setting is provision server. Provision server you can uh, by default it is ETH1 hash net and you can put you can put your you can put uh, uh, you, you can put any uh, default value is local net and here, if you put some some URL, just like uh, uh, www dot com, and then the provision server will change this. So if so if in case user has order has uh, has uh, has the gateway in batch and they want to they want to set a provision server to their server, they can first put the provision file in local in lo in local network with the IP address 25254PC and then the gateway will first get the provision server information from local network and then update the provision server settings in the gateway. <coughs> Another field is report. Uh, 1 means report the device or 0 means or other value means gateway do nothing. And User also uh, administrator user uh, also can change the root password and the admin password from the provision file. Here is the op optional fields for the network settings. Here is the network configure. Network configure means the gateway will download the will will download this network configure to use as as it is network configure. For example, for example, uh, your provision server and your network configure parameter combine the combine the combine the URL for download. This network configure is original from gateways. ETC config network and it's the same settings as the web UI network network and network seller. User uh, also can change the wireless configure via provision file. Their download URL is the wireless configure. Here the network configure and wireless configure is a different URL so so you can you can put many gateways. Put uh, all the gateway use same network configure and same wireless configure file. <coughs> because each gateway has their Wi-Fi SSID and WAN host name, they are different from gateway to gateway. And here, it is a uh, is option. The host status 
when you set when when you set this value to one, the gateway the gateway will keep the current Wi-Fi SSID and when hostname settings. If you set this to zero, the gateway will use the Wi-Fi SSID and wireless com uh, and the when hostname from the network configure and the wireless configure file. This part mentioned the provision file structure for LoLaWAN settings. Here, the gateway config the gateway config points to the gateway configure file file name. Administrator can maintain all the gateway use the same gateway config file. In the gateway config file, there is a setting. Uh, is the setting gateway ID and email. But the the device will ignore the gateway ID and email from the gateway configure uh, dot factory file because because each gateway they should have different different uh, gateway ID. <coughs> Administrator can keep the current gateway ID in gateway in the gateway. So the gateway if see this option, uh, the gateway won't change its ID or set or the or the administrator can set a new gateway ID via the provision file. They can also set a new email. If some, if uh, in some case the app application is used, uh, this app decode file can also be backup and update for each each gateway. This page mentioned the uh, MQTT settings is similar to the LoLaWAN settings. They first point to a MQTT config file and they also point to a MQTT channel factory file. This field is a remote script. This script can put in, you you can put a uh, put a remote script in your server so the gateway will downlink download the script and process the script. So if you want to change some settings that you you are not able to change with the, with the provision files other fields, you can use the script to uh, change it, to change this. <coughs> 